while the debate uh, is still raging on cryptocurrency the technology used uh, for development of cryptocurrency is the blockchain technology uh, has m- several other uses uh, which has been being utilized by the government such as updation of records aadhar verification self sovereign identity i spoke to iit professor manender agarwal and his startup team at kruvin uh, to understand what is this blockchain technology and how it is helping the government in uh, developing e governance solution iit kanpur the startup team uh, was given the responsibility by national cyber security secretariat and a funding in 2017 to develop this blockchain technology for use in e-governance iit kanpur is also presently under discussion with the rbi to develop blockchain or to utilize blockchain technology in developing the digital currency which was announced by the finance minister recently in her budget speech So let me ask you uh, this question, Professor. Uh, what is this self-sovereign identity which you mentioned and which was used uh, for uh, distribution of uh, digital uh, degrees uh, to students? If you can explain to our viewers. See, once blockchain provides uh, this layer of unforgeable entries or records, then you can build on top of it. So the one notion that uh, has been built on top of it is. Uh, what is called self sovereign identity system what this system allows you to do is take for example the aadhar card uh, there have been a lot of debate around this whether where the aadhar number should be used because there is a fear that it may be misused as a my identity somebody may misuse it there have also been concerns expressed that if i have all my identity verification are recorded at a central server then uh, somebody may use all those transactions to make my profile and the track where i am going what i am doing so with the self sovereign identity system what can happen is that you carry your identity the aadhar identity on your phone mm-hmm. and when you want to verify your identity to any second party you do it through a qr code scanning mm-hmm. from your mm-hmm. there is no third party involved that is this verification step doesn't have to be routed through any central server it happens directly between me and the person i want to verify myself to and with this exchange the other person gets a certified evidence which cannot be i cannot tamper even though i am carrying my id on my phone i cannot tamper with it to make me somebody else and that person can get a convince that i am the person who i claim to be at least the aadhar id is that and secondly that person also doesn't get my aadhar id so professor can this technology be used for identity verification as well if 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 i am not mistaken this mechanism can also be used for all kinds of identity not just aadhar uh i have many attributes associated i mean my college degrees for example so i can load them all on my phone and verify whoever wishes to verify that i am i have graduated from this college on this year with these many marks i can directly certify and uh, that is what uh, we recently used in iit kanpur in the convocation when the prime minister distributed the degrees this system was used to give the degrees to every student who graduated again there is a you know big racket here there is for forged degrees which uh, you know a lot of uh, people misuse and the employers get misled with those degrees so all that problems get Resolved. Can you give us more examples of this SSI system that you mentioned, uh, which will be increasingly utilized uh, in near future? For example, let's say airport entry. Today, when uh, you see that in airport there are long queues outside, mm-hmm. especially in rush hours, because mm-hmm. uh, the, the at the airport gate uh, a manual verification is done, mm-hmm. whether you are you are. A, folder of the ticket what time is your flight your name against your id card etc 
Now, all that can be compressed into your phone and in a QR code, which can be scanned by the security guard at the entry. On the display of the security guard, all your details about uh, flight and name and photograph, everything will appear. He can verify, just see once and verify immediately without you know, looking at multiple things. This will uh, cut down the processing time very substantially. I mean, they take, for example, the vaccination certificate. Mm -hmm. We have to verify our vaccination certificate at many places. Now, it can be sitting on your phone as a QR code. You just scan it, verify it, and you move ahead. It becomes a job of a few seconds. So does this uh, also require internet but because as you are aware that not all places in india are under are covered under the internet it needs internet at the time when you are downloading it on your phone that's a one time job once you have downloaded then forever it's sitting on your phone of course if you lose your phone then that's a problem that's but it. otherwise not. we come to our last question uh, is this technology tested uh, is any government or government agencies are using this yes so th this is first of all an initiative from the government uh, national cyber security coordinator's office uh, they initiated this project three years ago they gave us funding to develop this blockchain based a framework and come up with multiple implement applications of this okay. and uh, so we have done this job under that project now we have uh, you now implemented this in the for the land records in the government of karnataka that process is already under me uh, we are we have signed an agreement with lucknow development authority to implement uh, the land records maintain their land records mm -hmm. uh, we have already done this two identity-based, self-sovereign identity-based checks. And now we are in discussion with the MIT, with the UIDAI and other uh, NTA, the National Testing Agency. This is another interesting example that when these big exams like JEE or NEET, when they declare their reserve, mm -hmm. uh, the servers get overwhelmed there is this sometimes some uh, some people try to forge those results so again this we are actually in discussion with nta the idea being that uh, the results once as soon as they are announced they will be pushed directly to the phones of all the students the result that will come will be unforgeable and they can use it to you know, certify their performance anyway. Uh, thank you very much, sir, for sharing uh, your experience and the technology and how it is being utilized. It was a pleasure speaking to you. Thank you for speaking to Economic Times.